Welcome to another edition of This Week in Disc Golf. It's March 24th, 2022. I'm Charlie Eisenhood, and here's what happened this week. Over the weekend, it was the first Disc Golf Pro Tour Silver Series event of the season, the Open at Belton, taking place in Belton, Texas. Chris Dickerson and Katrina Allen are your 2022 champions. Chris Dickerson going wire to wire, beating Paul McBeth and Ricky Wysocki by three strokes. Great all-around performance from Dickerson, who had a six-shot lead going into the final round. He was one of the best from tee to green and also on the putting green. 92% putting from inside the circle. Never really in doubt for Chris Dickerson. Let's hear from Chris Dickerson after his win. So uh, when you wake up with a lead like that, all you're thinking about is just don't mess it up. And um, early on in the round, that's what I was doing. I was messing it up. And I was just fortunate enough to fight back toward the middle and continue that a little bit to the end. That way I could, uh, you know, not have to go for 17 and 18. On the FPO side, Katrina Allen had a narrower lead heading into the final round, and it was a battle, not only with her card mate, Kristen Tatar, on the lead card, but also with Valerie Mondujano coming off the Waco win two weeks ago, who was on the chase card. Allen held an advantage most of the round. When they got to hole 17, Allen had a two-stroke lead. She gets her tee shot out clean on 17, and Kristen Tatar next to tee, throws it right into the tree off the tee. So advantage Allen. Allen's upshot gets to just at the bottom of the hill. At this point with a two stroke lead, she can just lay up, especially with Tatar having taken the extra stroke by hitting the tree. Allen's pitch up. Sails the basket too high, too much hyzer and it goes down all the way to the other side of the hill. And now all of a sudden, she's looking at the risk of a bogey. Tatar hits the putt. Great putt from Tatar to save her par. Allen just has to pitch up and then puts in this bogey putt. Meanwhile, on 18, Valerie Mondahano, great drive then sends the upshot right to the pin and taps it in for the birdie three. And we are tied at the top at 15 under par. So Katrina Allen on the tee of 18 needs a birdie to avoid a playoff to tar a stroke back. Drive narrowly misses the trees, but she's safe in the fairway and then steps up to her upshot and without hesitation, throws a dart right to the basket. She would go on to tap that in and she becomes the back-to-back -back Open at Belton champion and now a five-time winner at this event. Here's Katrina Allen after her win. Uh, you're now a five-time champion out here in Belton. What, what do you think it is about this place? Um, I mean, it's a, sorry, my truth. Um, it's got the windmill. It's got the windmill. <laughs> um, maybe that's it. A little wind. Um, golf course style, um, but some woods holes. Um, lots of strategy. And I don't know. I just love um, how excited Neil and the crew are when we get into town. The Disc Golf Pro Tour has hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. If you're one of them, thank you. If you're not, well, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. Congrats to the Disc Golf Pro Tour for reaching that milestone. Now to our social media minute. Well, first up, we got a post over on the Disc Golf subreddit from Jonathan Gomez, who founded Jomez Pro, the biggest YouTube channel in disc golf. And here it is showing him 10 years ago this week, deciding for the first time that he was going to start filming disc golf. He said in the post, I was playing amateur world doubles in Wimberley, Texas, and they invited the nonstop disc golf tour, Nico LaCastro, Will Schusterick, Dave Feldberg, and Kale LaVisca to come to a clinic for us. I had been watching their videos since the beginning of that season and was so stoked to meet those guys in person. I remember asking if I could film the clinic and they said they would prefer not to since they were touring the country doing that same clinic. 
I completely understood and wasn't deterred at all. If anything, it made me want to find a way to gain the trust of players so that I could be of service to them and fans of disc golf like myself. A few months later, I snuck onto the fairway of the Pro World's Final Nine, and the rest is history. How about that? It's just been 10 years, and look how far Jomez Pro has come. Congrats to Jonathan Gomez and all that they've been able to accomplish. And then something you don't see every day. Look at this Twitter post from Cher. Yes, Cher is excited about the Frisbee golf. And she shared a screenshot of a dyed disc. Well, she didn't give credit to the artist, but we will. This is from Phil Lewis. You can check this out at phillewisart.com. A buzz died beautifully with the Colorado logo in the middle. You can go to philllewisart.com to find more of his discs. Now, to this coming weekend, we've got the Texas State Disc Golf Championships. It's the third stop on the Disc Golf Pro Tour Elite Series. And although we'll be at Lindsay Park again, we won't be back on the Dogwood course that the pros played last year. Instead, they will be playing a hybrid layout of the three courses uh, at this Lindsay Park. It's a combination of the Cedar, Hickory, and Dogwood courses. It means it's a much longer layout. Par 63, 9,772 feet for MPO. Par 67, 8,986 for FPO. Although there are some wooded holes, you can see on the course map, there's also a lot more open shots, distant shots, and so we'll see how that affects the outcome. Your winners in 2021, Ricky Waisaki and Haley King. Unfortunately, Haley King will not have a chance to defend her title. She was on her way to Texas States when the heavy thunderstorms and tornadoes were coming through and she decided to turn around, stay safe, and uh, wait to play another tournament later this year. So uh, too bad we won't see Haley King this weekend, but of course, stay safe out there. I know that those tornadoes were pretty scary uh, in the Midwest. Ricky Waisaki will be trying to win his sixth Texas State Disc Golf Championship. He's only played in the event five times, and he's won it all five times. So this is him going for number six. He is the defending champ. He last won it uh, before 2021 in 2019. Other notes on the field, Matt Oram will be back in attendance after recovering from appendicitis and getting surgery to remove his appendix. So looking forward to seeing Matty O back out there. And another big contingent of European players will be joining the tour. We'll see Nicholas Antilla, Lucas Rokonen, Nico Ratia, Vino Makla, and Christo Reik all join the field this weekend. This will be the start of their U.S. tour leading up to the Champions Cup. You can watch live coverage of the Texas State Disc Golf Championships on the Disc Golf Network. Final round coverage will also be free on YouTube. And the typical post-produced coverage from Jomez, Gatekeeper, and GK Pro will be available on YouTube next day. That's going to do it for this week in disc golf. Enjoy the Texas State Championships, everyone, and we'll talk to you next week.